The largest study of whole genome sequencing, WGS, to date has discovered 58 new ways that cancer develops in the human body. That and a study we're reporting at Study Finds. Please be sure to like and subscribe. An ultra-detailed examination of thousands of tumors from more than 12,000 cancer patients in the United Kingdom uncovered a treasure trove of clues about what causes cancer. University of Cambridge scientists say the research could eventually help scientists create new treatments for the deadly disease. Researchers found dozens of mutational signatures that provide clues to why people develop cancer in the first place. The data, which found patterns in the DNA of cancer cells, also revealed whether a patient smoked, used tanning beds, or had an internal cellular malfunction contributing to disease onset. While the scientists have found the 58 new mutational signatures, they believe these are additional causes of cancer we do not yet understand fully. The data comes from the 100,000 Genomes Project, a UK-wide research initiative supported by Cancer Research UK, which examines thousands of patients affected by rare disease or cancer. Dr. Andrea Degasperi, a Cambridge Research Associate, said, quote, WGS gives us a total picture of all the mutations that have contributed to each person's cancer, unquote. Serena Nick Zanal from the Department of Medical Genetics and an honorary consultant in clinical genetics at Cambridge University Hospitals added, quote, The reason it is important to identify mutational signatures is because they are like fingerprints at a crime scene. They help to pinpoint cancer culprits. Researchers say they have also created something called FIT-MS. They say it's a computerized tool to help doctors identify old and new mutational signatures in cancer patients to potentially inform cancer management more effectively. Professor Matt Brown, chief scientific officer of Genomics England, said, quote, We hope to use the mutational clues seen in this study and apply them back in our patient population with the ultimate aim of improving diagnosis and management of cancer patients. Serena Nixanal had more to say in a video released recently. So this is the largest study of its kind of whole genome sequenced human cancers. And that means that every single DNA building block has been sequenced in these cancers. Um, and we have utilized the data that has been generated by um, Genomics England or the 100,000 Genomes Project. Some 12,000 cancers have been sequenced and we were able to look at all the mutations that have arisen in, in each of these cancers. So that's thousands and thousands of mutations and that gives us a lot of power to be able to look at patterns across patient samples. What we identified were 58 new mutation patterns. Some of these patterns occur frequently across many different patients, or they're common, and some of them, some of them are rare and more individual to each patient. An additional feature that we have developed in this study is to develop a tool to enable users to use this new information. So we've gone a step further. We haven't just identified new things, we've created a tool that will help clinical users as well as scientific users to, to utilize this new information in order to diagnose and to treat patients more effectively. We have a lot more info on this and other studies. Just click the link in the description below and head over to studyfinds.com.